I don't get it. They won last year 10 games with the second youngest roster. I'm going to just leave it right there. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. So here's what we're going to do. I've had the hotel, motel, holiday inn Wi-Fi here to try and do my live stream, and it's not really good. Um, I'm going to have to figure out something for the Wednesday night uh, stream. It may be better in the lobby. Um, I just don't. It's just like I'm not taking this all down. I, I, listen, I drove over 500 miles to get here. I got up at 4.15 this morning. I'm not taking all this downstairs and trying it for for now. I, I, tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah, well, tomorrow we will, just not today. So I'm going to give you a little taste, a little taste of my live stream here from inside the room, and I'm going to upload it, and then that way you can guys can watch it, and you can deal with it as you may. Um, first of all, we've got the drip, 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 drip of the NFL schedule. By the time the show actually happens on Wednesday night, you'll probably know almost every game. You probably will. We know Kansas City and the Ratbirds are going to open up Thursday night football. We know that the Eagles are going to be playing Friday night in Brazil. And we know the Cowboys are going to be going to Cleveland and hopefully rocking Cleveland with Tom Brady calling the game. Yeah. There's that. We also know that for the third time, not once, not twice, but three times already this offseason, we have been reminded that the Cowboys, in their waiting to get deals done, has cost them. Now, I've got all the trolls. See, anytime anything happens, the trolls come through. Ah, Dak Prescott. And I've been hearing this for years now. After year one, I used to hear Dak Prescott will be flipping burgers in two years. Dak Prescott, he, man, that, he, he sucks. Dink and duck Dak, man. He he just lucky that he got Zeke Elliott and everything else and all these great weapons. Anybody, anybody could be doing what Dak Prescott does. Mind you, he took over a team that was 4-12. Four 4-12, and, and, and they go 13-3. But be that as it may. The Cowboys, who have said that, you know, they'll get these deals done when they're ready to get them done, and have told us that there's not money to sign people and that, you know, you got to be logistic. You know, le le I can't even think of the word. My brain's not. Yeah, that what she said back there. Not logical. Uh, no, it's like when you. It's not logical. Logistical. Logistical is what I thought I said. Okay. Anyway, that's what you got to be. You know, Stephen Jones said, yeah, you got to be careful how you pay people and stuff. And in the meantime, while well, I've been waiting for C.D. Lamb, you see the Eagles sign not one but two wide receivers. Okay, extend them for years. And now here's where it gets to be crazy because now quarterbacks are getting paid right now. And Jared Goff just got – $53 million a year with $170 million guaranteed. The second highest paid player in the NFL. Second highest paid player in the NFL. There are other quarterbacks that are also due to get paid this offseason. Trevor Lawrence, Jordan Love, Tua Tagovailoa. Tua, Tua, Tua. I can't pronounce the last name. And right now, my eyes are just kind of like, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, because the, the lighting is not, it's dark. So I got like actually a light that's literally right here, okay? So there's other ones. I don't know that anybody's going to beat Jared Goss, but you got to understand the floor has been raised. 50 plus is the new going rate. Kirk Cousins, in case you guys, you know, didn't notice this got 45 million and he's old as dirt and he's got a ruptured achilles tendon so you look at this and say yeah 
the price of quarterbacks is going up. Now, again, going back to the trolls that have been descending on the channel, face it, Mark, the Cowboys, they don't care about Dak Prescott. They don't want him. He's going to be. It's like, okay. All right. Make sure when the Cowboys sign that contract with them, make sure that you come back and say, I was wrong. But I forgot. You nameless Fs behind the keyboard that are too scared in your mama's basement to actually put your name to anything, you won't man up and say, you know what? I was wrong. Because that's what a weak ass biatch is like. So there's that. That's a lot of money for Jared Goff. And the amazing thing is, I'm trying to see where, where was that number? Here's what's crazy. For those that are going to say, well, Jared Goff's a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. Um, okay. Since the trade of Dak Prescott and Matthew Stafford, this is actually kind of crazy. Jared Goff has had 24 wins. Matthew Stafford has had 24 wins. Jared Goff, 66 completion percentage. Matthew Stafford, 66 completion percentage. Jared Goff, 41 turnovers. Stafford, 41 turnovers. Goff, 46 success rate. And Stafford, 46. Now, here's what's funny is, as much as, as bad as everybody talked about Dak Prescott's turnovers, would you believe he's got seven less interceptions at the same time as those guys? And he actually has seven more wins than both of them? Yeah. He also has 18 more TDs. I know people say, well, yeah, but, you know, you, you, you're you talking about Matthew Stafford, a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Well, what was Matthew Stafford when he was on the Lions? And they didn't actually, he did actually have a team around in one year. They did have Hall of Fame Calvin Johnson there. They had Namak and Sue on the defense. I believe they had three all pros on this defense. Um, they had Golden Tate, who was also a pro Bowl wide receiver, and he only had like 23 TDs. But then again, what do I know? I'm just a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll who drove over 500 miles to get here to Vermont. The reality is, is Dak Prescott is actually a good quarterback. But when I look at the Rams team and what they've done to try and surround Matthew Stafford with talent, you can see him going from the Lions to those were your daddy's Lions where they weren't really good. And he goes to the Rams and they go out and they get Von Miller. They go out, they get Odell Beckham Jr. before the two knee surgeries and things. Um, they surrounded him with talent. You know, they went out and got Jalen Ramsey to add to the team. The Cowboys, well, we just say we're going to do more with less. We believe in the draft and bottom bottom tier free agents. Now, the Lions, they were bad, so bad that they were actually able to draft high in the draft. And because they were bad, they were able to get a lot of players. They got a good coach, and they now have a team that's uh, willing to spend some money to try and actually win. And you look at the team that they've been putting together, and you have to give their coach credit because he has come out there. He has set the tone. He has put the attitude out there. They're out there biting off kneecaps, okay? They're swinging and everything else. In fact, I will dare say that the Lions fans aren't the Lions fans that I used to know when we used to go there for Thanksgiving. They were more like lambs than, than lions. Now they're growling like crazy and coming after us Cowboy fans. But the only thing I have to say to uh, you Lions, because you guys are a good team. You are a really good team. But I have one question for you. How many fourth downs does it take to beat the Cowboys? Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? That's no. Tough. They suck. Versatile. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. shit on you. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Kayla Carter, Slight? They shit on you. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Kayla Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Kill them. 
Oh my goodness! Did he say they they cock it on them? I hate the style of defense. I- yeah, they shit. He he, he shit on you. I, I I just did. I I really just did. I'm sorry. I mean no disrespect, lines. I mean no disrespect. But you you know I I gotta have something, okay? Because I'm kind of perturbed tonight. You know when you see this, and it's crazy because. I said years ago, I don't know if you remember when Kirk Cousins got the first fully guaranteed contract as a quarterback. I said the Cowboys need to run, don't walk, and get their deal done. I said before Russell Wilson resets the market. And had they got it done, they would have gotten that deal done for under $30 million. Instead, they waited. Aaron Rodgers got his. Russell Wilson got his. All of a sudden, the market got reset. I've been saying for over a year now, you need to get Dak Prescott's deal done before the market resets. Had they done that last year, you know, maybe they they could have signed him at fifty million dollars and you know made him the highest paid player. And right now you'd be looking pretty, but they've waited and waited and waited. And to make it worse or acerbate it, and if I said it wrong, she I just told you she'll tell me I said it wrong. <sighs> The grammar police are here. Okay. I need a wambulance. Um, to make it worse. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, there's no time to spread it out. They're already in a hole for next year by $40 million. And so you, as you get pissed off about Dak Prescott's contract and how you know, he's getting $55 million, it's not Dak Prescott's fault. Look at the way they structure the contracts. That goes to the team's management, not Dak. But hey, it is what it is. Now, Colin Cowherd, of course, they're already telling you the Cowboys are going to be ass ass and they're not going to win any games and how hard it is. You know how hard it is to win 12 games? Uh, yeah, well, we've done that three years in a row. And I'm betting that the Cowboys get the over. And I said last night, I've kind of got some people pissed off at me, mainly Eagle fans. And had the road taken me a slightly different way, I would have been by the link and been, there you go. And, and I might do that on the way home. F them birds. The Cowboys, I'm not ready to give up on the season. I'm not ready to roll over and say that the uh, Eagles are the cream of the crop because when you look at teams that go to the Super Bowl and lose generally speaking they continue to regress think about where the Carolina Panthers that were 15 and 1 were think about the Atlanta Falcons where they were you see teams that lose the Super Bowl they start losing some of those players and as the years go on, they start going down. They go down for real. All right, good people. That's all I have to say about that. I apologize about the uh, Wi-Fi here. We'll see what we're going to be able to do um, going forward. But here's a taste of what you guys would have missed tonight. As always, I appreciate you. Fuck them birds. Fly, eagles, fly. Now we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again.